hello my people welcome back to our channel now we have another news this morning and it's ohane zendi Ibo. shocking every Igbo person because that faction we have said it that they are not representing the Igbos. they are simply representing their pockets and that's why they can say anything at any time support anything at any time to have their way into the corridors of power now the presidential election Ibo will support Tunubu government. P2B should accept the seat. That is Ohane Zendi Ibo saying. The Ohane Zendi Ibo social cultural organization has said Ibo have moved on with the presi president elect Bola Ahmed Tunubu. This was as Ohane Zendi urged the Labour Party LP presidential candidate Peter Obi to accept the outcome of the presidential election in good faith. Honest the Secretary General Okechuku Isiguzoro was reacting to a call against Tunubu by a group known as Igbo Patriot Forum and Elders Forum. That is exactly what they are telling Peter Obi at this trial time. A race or a particular region should be able to stand with one voice. And that is why Yorubas are better. They are better, Fulanis are best when it comes to politics. You know what? This faction, Ohanes and Ibo, I don't think they are representing the Igbos. How come they cannot go to court with Peter Obi to make sure he reclaims the mandate given to him by Nigerians? I mean, when I'm talking about Nigerians, it cuts across the north, the west, the east, and the, wherever you, you call yourself a Nigerian. I know many people voted for Peter Obi, and suddenly, in broad daylight, they robbed him of that victory. We know how shabby this election was. We saw how Yakub Mahmoud did whatever he did. And now Peter B said no. He is trying to question the process that brought Bola Ahmed Tunubu to power. He's not per se fighting Tunubu, no. He's fighting the umpire, the electoral umpire. They need to tell him, they need to prove to him how uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu won this election. Simple and short. How long it takes does not matter, but I think Igbo region should follow P2B to that point. Or they will excuse themselves from what is called Nigeria because Nigeria is not working for them. That is just the simple truth. Nigeria has failed the Igbos, they've sidelined the Igbos, they've hated the Igbos and have done a lot of things against Igbo region. And if they must continue in politics, are they going to be follow follow politicians for how long? Since 1960 up to now, they have never been very close to political power. They are not president, they are not vice, they are not the senior president and all that. That is what we are talking about. They can't be rubbishing the posterity of the Igbos because they are Ohanes and Igbo or because they want to be in politics. I am telling you that these politicians are very few in number when it comes to the majority of the Igbos. If the population of the Igbos amounts up to 70 million, I mean, what, who, who are these political uh, leaders in Igbo land? Who are these Ohanes and Igbo? How many are they that they feel they can decide for the youth without asking the youth, what do we really want? How do we go about it? And that is what we are saying. Ohane Zendibo is a criminal group. Indeed, I can see and I can attest to that. When it comes to this kind of decision, you, you find out that they have fraction. They have fraction in Ohane Zendibo. Emmanuel Iwanyangu is the president-elect of uh, Ohane Zendibo. And I expect to hear from him concerning this matter. What is the stand of Ohane Zendibo? Because this is a faction of Ohane Zendibo, a faction that is not even recognized. This Isi Guzoro of a person, I don't think they are recognized in terms of Ohane Zendibo. So, my people, what do you think about this very news? I want you to drop your comments on the comment section. Let us reason together to know the way forward for the Igbos. The way forward for Peter Obi. How come his people will abandon him at this time? It is quite heartbreaking. Many forces are fighting Obi at this particular time because he is actually the one that people voted for. So the truth is always bitter in Nigeria because Nigeria is so corrupt. It's so corrupt that you can't imagine the truth.
coming out from judiciary even. So that is the fear of Ohanes and Debo for them to have said that Peter B should accept the faith and move on. But how long are we going to continue in this mess? There are a lot of confusion in Igbo land right now as I speak. Some group okay, fighting for their freedom, total emancipation of Igbos. <laughs> Some fighting for presidency. Some fighting for Tunubu. In a particular region, three factions. And I ask, what do they really want? What do we really want, Ndibo? We should be able to tell ourselves the truth. Is Nigeria favoring us? If not, why don't we separate ourselves from Nigeria? Talk about the separation and mean the separation. When we are talking about it and we don't mean it, it will, it will linger. But when we talk about it and we mean it, I'm telling you, everything in us will bring that freedom. Look at Mazin Amdekano today. A man that is fighting for Ndibo, abandoned for Igbo presidency. Now, the Igbo presidency, they don't have it. They have been robbed off. Even the worst has happened that Senate presidency, APC said they are giving it to Ababio. <laughs> it's funny. You know, that drama is unbelievable drama. And yet, they are telling us they are playing politics. To me, to me, what they are doing is to mark infrastructure. What they are doing is to mock politics. They want to take any bribe or any money that come across their way and they will say, oh, this is where we stand. That few cannot continue to represent Ndebo. It's, it's, a criminal, it's a criminal group. We will not accept that. So the best is kill behind um, the brig the Biafra government in exile. From there, from there, things will start coming up. Of course, the EU, they've invited Simon Eber because they know he's saying the truth. And he's doing it in the right direction and in the right time. Because they cannot subdue Mazinam Dekano and suddenly we abandon him and start talking about another thing. What we want is what we want. And I know the majority carries the vote who are the majority now the youths those that have suffered the illegal detention incarceration sidelining joblessness and everything nigeria has offered them they are the ones that say enough we don't want again we want to be on our own we want to form our nation we want to have our military and police and all that so drop your comments on this very news because it is dies here right now.